Hey guys, it's Alicia. Now today I am going to be making some cream puffs. Now, um, I used to think that cream puffs were a difficult thing to do and I discovered they are definitely not. So, I am going to show you real quick what you're gonna need. You are gonna need a cup of water, cup of flour, four eggs, three tablespoons of sugar, quarter teaspoon of salt, and a half cup of butter. And that is it to make the actual cream puff. Um, as far as what you're gonna need to um, do the filling, that kind of depends on what you wanna fill them with. You can fill these with cream, like whipping cream. You can fill them with a custard. You could fill them with just lots of different things. I like to fill them with just a basic whipping cream. So um, for that, I'm just gonna be using whipping cream, vanilla, and sugar. But anyway, um, let me get started and show you how simple these cream puffs really are to make. So the first thing you wanna do is turn on your oven and set it to 425 to preheat while you're doing everything else. Then you're gonna to wanna to get yourself a medium-sized pan here, and you want to turn that on to medium-high heat. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna just take your water, your butter, sugar, and salt. So what you're gonna wanna do is bring this to a boil and you wanna be stirring it occasionally. This has now come to a boil, so what you wanna do is take your flour and you're going to just dump this in all at once and stir. And you wanna keep stirring this um, until it starts to kind of pull away from the sides of the pan and forms kind of like a ball on your spoon here. So I'm just gonna keep stirring this and it'll probably be about two, three minutes. Okay, I've been cooking this about two minutes and this is what it looks like. See how it's kind of just all pulled away from the pan and kind of formed into almost a ball here. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this and you're gonna set aside and let it cool for about five minutes. And while you're waiting for that to cool, you can prepare your cookie sheet. You wanna just put a piece of parchment paper on a cookie sheet like this. And then you can also get out your decorating bag and tip. Um, if you don't have one of these, you can just use a, like a Ziploc bag and cut the tip of a corner off and that'll work too, to pipe these onto the cookie sheet. Okay, I let this cool for about five minutes. Now what you're gonna do is add one egg at a time to this. And you're just going to stir the egg in. So you wanna stir each egg in until your mixture um, gets incorporated with the egg fully. And that is what it'll look like. So you're gonna do that with the remaining three eggs and just doing one at a time until you've got it all mixed together. Okay, and this is what it's gonna look like when you've got all your eggs incorporated in. It is a little bit of work to get these all blended in, but you're gonna end up with a dough like this and it's got a slightly um, shiny appearance to it. Now once you've got to this point, you're gonna put your dough in your piping bag and now once you've got your batter in your piping bag, you're gonna just make probably about an inch, inch and a half to two inch uh, in diameter size little balls. And you wanna keep them a couple inches apart. So, Kind of like that, and they don't have to be um, all, you know, perfect shaped or anything. I mean, I guess unless you want them to be, I don't, I don't really care. I just kind of, 
kind of just squeeze out the batter and get whatever shape happens. So I will continue. I'm going to continue um, piping the rest of these out. Okay, and that is what they look like all piped out. So now what I'm gonna do is put these in my preheated oven and my oven is preheated to 425. But as soon as I get these in the oven, I am going to um, turn the heat up to 450 and I'm going, to, I'm going to bake these for 10 minutes. And then after 10 minutes, I'm gonna drop the heat down to 350 and bake an additional 10 minutes. So I will be back once these are baked. So for the filling, I'm just gonna do a basic whipping cream. So I've got about a cup of heavy whipping cream here. Pour that in. And do about a teaspoon vanilla and about three tablespoons of sugar. Then I'm just going to whisk this up until it is the right consistency. Okay, that looks good. So I'm going to just set this aside. Um, actually, I'm just going to put this in the fridge until I need it. Okay, I've got them cooled here. So I'm going to just take one of these and I'm going to put the tip of the decorating tip into the bottom of one of these and then just gently fill it up and it's starting to come out the bottom so that's full and I'm just gonna do that with all of these okay and here I have them completed I went ahead and sprinkled some powdered sugar on these you don't have to if you don't want to but I think it adds an extra little flavor and makes them look a little prettier um, I'll go ahead and open one of these for you so you can see they look like and that's what they look like inside these are so so good and so easy um, you can freeze these and keep them up to like a month in the freezer if you want and I actually prefer to freeze them and eat them a little bit uh, a little bit frozen um, anyway these are great for Christmas New Year's whenever you want to have them. So I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.